welcome to my channel beauty boomer my name is rose and if you're here for the first time welcome if you're a new subscriber or a returning subscriber thank you so so much i was out shoveling the snow and the mailman came and i got this i am so 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 excited thank you to carrie at the nosy house frau she was able to pick this up for me at the morphe store in troy michigan after a failed uh, attempt on launch day and uh then she mailed it to me i'm so excited it this palette is so beautiful in person the looks that you can create are endless i am just seeing so much possibility in this palette so i thought today we would just do a quick first look um and see how this palette performs so i'm just gonna go in uh, with the color ranch which is a white i've prepped my eyes with um, the painterly. Okay, so this white is not a matte. It is more of a satin finish. Not a true sim shimmer, but not a matte. So that is good to know. Um, I normally wouldn't put this much of a shimmer or satin color up here but it is what it is i couldn't tell just by looking at it so when once i saw it I see it on the eyes i can see but it's very pretty so i'm going to blend that out we're going to go with the bk beauty 202 and i'm going to go right into the color cheese dust which is this kind of burnt orange color and let's play with that as a transition so the color's going on really nicely. I'm not really blending it. I'm just kind of tapping it in. And I have my microfiber cloth here, so I'm just gonna wipe off the excess and then I'm gonna start blending. So this seemed to blend out pretty good. Let's build this up a little bit more, especially out here. Oh, they're buildable. So far, so good, you guys. And I'm just gonna put a little bit, drag a little bit into the outer corner, just down on a slant, just as a base for what we're gonna do next. I hope you all are having a good week. It's been a very busy week since I've got back from uh, Michigan, not Michigan, back to Michigan. I'm really um, just in awe of all of the love and support that I've been getting from so many YouTubers that have a bigger following than me, really helping me to grow my channel. I thank you so much. So now I'm going to cut I'm going to go in to the outer corner with the color spiraling. It's this one right up here. He's got some unique shades in this. Some unique shimmer shades. I'm going to use my little Jaclyn Hill brush that I really like this brush for the outer corner. So it's a Morphe brush. It is the uh JH40. So I don't know if they have, you know, 40 and other um tips or not but i do like this for the outer corner tapping into spiraling there's a little kick back in the pan and i'm going to just start deepening the outer corner So I'm seeing a little skipping, but I think it's my lid and and not the and not the product. Then I'm gonna go back in with my uh, BK Beauty brush. I'm gonna just very gently tap into that first color, the cheese dust. 
and blend that out a little bit, soften that a little bit. And I'm just gonna drag it. There's hardly any product left on the brush. I'm just kind of dragging this up a little bit towards my brow. There. Now I wanted to go in with this color Illuminati. It's a deep forest green. So we are going to take that on a packing brush. This is a Luxie brush. It is the Luxie. Let me see if it has a number on it. It is the Luxie 213 eye shading brush. So I'm going almost all the way out to the end, but not all the way. Because we have that first deeper color to kind of just anchor. And then I'm just putting this almost all the way across the lid. Leaving about the inner quarter of the lid free. This is a beautiful, beautiful shade. I think we could do a really good holiday look with this shade. It is gorgeous. And using my cloth. If I ever get big and if I ever make merch, I think I'm going to make microfiber cloths for you guys because I swear by them. I think they're great to clean your brushes off in between colors. And it saves on having to actually wash your brushes because it does remove most of the product. Now I'm gonna go in with an even smaller brush. I'm going to go in with the BK Beauty uh, 204. It's the little uh, tiny brush that I usually use for my lash line, but I'm, since I'm getting right into that corner, I want to use something small, and I'm gonna go into the color Sleep Paralysis. It's this one. And this is another color. I have nothing like it in my collection. So um, I have to say, I'm, I'm, I'm so thrilled with this palette. It is so much more beautiful in person than when you see it um, online. It, there's just It's just so great. It is the perfect combination of shimmers, mattes, brights, and neutrals that, you know, anybody could be satisfied with this palette and it has just enough to get you out of your comfort zone or just enough to keep you in however you want to look at it it is oh I'm so happy with it so here we go we're going into the inner corner with this one and we'll we're just going to kind of drag it up a little bit onto this green and blend it in so there is kickback in the pan. I'm going to recommend that you do your eyes first with this palette. So I think what I'll do next is I will go ahead and clean up my face, put my foundation on, and then come back and we'll do the lower lash line and, and the rest of the look. I'll be right back. So I am back. I did my brows. I did my brows today with the Benefit uh, Brow uh, Styler. So on this end, it has powder. And on this end, it has a pencil. So I just used the powder. I did not use the pencil today. I also did some bronzer. Uh, let me see what I did with it. Hang on. I did my bronzer using the uh, Park Avenue Princess palette. It's very pretty. I got it in a boxy charm, and I really like it. And then I used uh, the MAC Warm Soul Blush. So I wanted to keep everything kind of in those warm, bronzy colors. So that is what I did. Let's go into the lower lash line. We're going to go in now with the color Diet Root Beer. Hopefully you can see it right there, Diet Root Beer. And I'm using my little BK Beauty 204, which is my very favorite brush lately. 
for the, for the inner corner and the lower lash line. So I'm just going under the lower lash line here and dragging it out, kind of marrying it up with this outer corner. I'm going to go in with the back end with the color Illuminati. And I'm just going to start smoking that out. I'm going in pretty lightly, trying to avoid getting any fallout. And then I'm going to wipe the brush out off and then start smoking that out a little bit more. And then for the inner corner, I am going to go in with the color Conspiracy. It's this beautiful golden green color. And I'm going to get an even smaller brush than this. I'm going to get, this is the Luxie. Um, let's see, where's me? Let's, it's the Luxie 141. So it's perfect for the inner corner. I'm just going to wipe it off on my cloth, make sure it doesn't have any product on it and I'm going to go into that color conspiracy and I'm going to bring it a little bit on the lower lash line and in the inner corner and I'm going to now I'm going to do my lashes and I will uh, come back and uh, with the finished look and um, I'll see you in a minute and this is the finished look. So I hope you like it. Um, I think it's a great look. It's uh, smoky, but fun. Uh, just really love these colors. Uh, for my lips, I used uh, Spank Me Santa from the Patrick Star Matte Collection. Don't know if any of these are still available. And I used the Gerard Cosmetics Lip Liner in the color Mudslide. Um, I am wearing uh, Flutter Lashes in the style 398. And that is my first look with the uh, Conspiracy uh, palette. I'm waiting to get the Mini Controversy palette, and I'm going to be doing a lot more looks with this palette and also with the Tati Beauty palette. And I'm just thrilled. I hope you enjoy this video, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.